All right, welcome back to Hobson's Choice Harleys. We're playing around in the front garage today. This here's a 1981 FXWG Wide Glide. Pretty decent bike. It's got some parts that's been changed out. The oil bag's been changed out. This is a buddy of mine. Came and bought some parts off me a few months ago, and we've kind of become buddies. Neat guy. He asked me to do some work on this bike. So I started tearing into it just a little bit today. Frame's all rusted out. It's not a big deal. Just the general condition. There's a lot of jerry-rigged wiring on it frames rusted if you look on the front of the frame it's rusted down in here but it still has the original sticker so i mean it's it's not a molested bike but you know it needs some help he brought it to me because it's locked into gear so this is a turtle top transmission always start with the simple stuff hold the transmission plug check the oil it had not a drop it was bone dry and he'd been riding it and i'm pretty suspect he's seized up this transmission like these nice new pipes he bought those from me they were brand new doesn't even have enough miles on it to get the pipes hot yet so i started with the easy stuff i put fluid in this thing and as i was pouring fluid in there was just as much fluid coming out so i know the main bearing or the main shaft seal is blown on this thing and i think it's more than that because it didn't even roll and it was leaking so i think the case liable to be cracked the linkage is all locked up it grinds uh, it's stuck in gear and the linkage is all stuck so i've given the guy the option of the amount of labor it would cost to pull the whole primary apart to get to the linkage this is an old turtle top or rotary top transmission chances of it needing rebuilt are about a hundred percent so i've gave him the options of either buying the bike off of him or paying the money I mean, I think he's into this thing for more money than it would be worth. He'd probably be upside down by the time we, you know, by the time you pull that transmission out and rebuild it and put it back together, you got labor, material, fluids, you know, you're pushing right at 2K by the time that's all said and done. Or you can buy a $600 rotary top and roll the dice, but even still, you've got 10 or 12 hours labor just to tear it all apart and hope that a used transmission is going to get you down the road. So I don't know. Um, I do have another bike out there, the 72 shovel head that he might be interested in so we might be bartering wheeling and dealing this might be a hobson's choice bike or it might be the next project we're going to rebuild the transmission for him this is all up to him on what he wants to do but yeah this whole thing is just locked up there's a shifter linkage down in here that is not supposed to have any place side to side and if you look at it it wobbles all directions about a quarter of an inch so i know if nothing else the transmission has to come out and the whole top end has to be rebushed i mean that's just sloppy loose 40 year old transmission probably has never been gone into from the looks of the frame having the original stickers i don't think this motor or transmission's ever had any work done to it hard to say you know if these machines could talk they would tell a story so i'll keep you in the loop let you know what happens on this one all right so we're out playing with the survey car a little trying to mechanically see what's up rear cylinder hasn't run on this bike since i bought it and it's amazing that it starts first kick just about every time i do have fire to this plug but it could be a bad plug so i'm gonna do a compression test i'm doing old school because i can't find my compression gauge so i'm just gonna put my thumb over that hole well, I got compression. So basically, I'm plugging the spark plug hole and I'm kicking it to see because if this head gasket's blown, that could cause it, is what I'm hearing from guys. But it's got compression. So then I'm going to just try and switch the plugs because I know number one's firing and I don't think I have any of these plugs around. I wonder what they are. They're just a short reach. Oh, these are actually Harley plugs, not champions. So we're going to put this one in here. We'll put this one. I did put a new rear spark plug wire on this. So just kind of troubleshooting, playing. Not trying to set the world on fire today, but trying to figure out what's up. And now let's see what she does. We're going to give it the proverbial... Number two is running. All right, so both cylinders are running now. So I guess it's just a bad plug. Can't be that bad because number one's running. So they're old and fouled. I need new spark plugs desperately. But she sounds totally different running on two. Bet you she'd actually drive right down the road now.
see what I got here. That's a condenser. I thought that was a spark plug. I wonder if these are points. You look at that. Brand new set of points and condenser for this machine, which was going to be my next check. But obviously the points on this are in good shape because she's running. All right, so that's cool. Both cylinders running. So that's one less thing to worry about. She's just going to smoke for a while. I'm not worried about gaskets and smoking for a while. Points seem to be pretty close. All right, guys, that was huge. So next thing on a good warm day is I'm going to take it outside. And we're going to degrease all of this differential. We're going to clean this thing out. And then we're going to take her out and see how she runs on two cylinders. Maybe she'll get out of her way. She was gutless as all hell last time we had a video of me riding her on one lung. A 750 cc, so you figure 300 cc running with the front cylinder dragging the 350 cc's on the back i'm surprised she ran it all but uh it's fun i'm having fun with it we're figuring it out piece by piece so keep watching kick start that like button all right so we just got this uh clutch basket scorpion clutch basket apart it's clean it's fresh yeah that's reasonably new the fibers aren't worn down or anything which is a good deal we're gonna see if we can't get the rest of this primary out of here today what flavor am i looking for here 916th so the deal on this is the guy who brought it to me i i gave him the option of what he wanted to do because the transmission in my opinion is shelled and i didn't want to have him spend a bunch of shop time guessing whether the transmission could be fixed or not so i was waiting to hear back from him on what he wanted to do because outer primary clutch basket compensator all this stuff has to come off probably gonna have to pull the oil bag too to even get to the transmission to see if it's salvageable and then if it's not salvageable i got to pull the transmission completely out and go through it and rebuild it so he said either way he's good with it so we are moving forward let's see do i have i do not have the right socket for any of that i do for that one let's see if my little air compressor has enough oomph in it to get these two off. Okay, come on baby, you can do it. Okay guys, so we had some technical difficulties. We didn't get the audio and video on that last section of video. So basically my buddy called me and said, go ahead. He likes the bike. He wants to go ahead and pull the transmission and rebuild as necessary. So in the video, you'll see I drained the fluids. I pulled the primary, the outer primary. I pulled the clutch basket and I'm working on getting the compensator sprocket so I can pull the inner primary. Uh, a lot of stuff has to come apart to make this happen. Got to pull the starter off. Got to pull the solenoid off maybe get away with leaving the oil bag in there i'm not sure uh, but definitely the whole inner primary is coming apart which we'll keep videoing but to access the shifter linkage and see what's going on with that transmission so we will continue on all right you guys made it to the end thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video please kick start that like button don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already also comment what you guys think let me know if you have any suggestions for video ideas or topics you guys want covered, and I'll do my best to include those in my next projects. You guys can also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Also, don't forget to check out the Beacons link in the description below. See you next time.